Twist it like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist. Twist it like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist. Twist it like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist. Twist it like a stir fry. I'll take a whip it intermission. Let the birds fly. Welcome back to the Beat 139 Podcast Show. We got our second guest in the building, my man, Morocco Omari. Yo. AKA Rock. What's up, Rock? What's good, bro? How you doing, brother? Welcome to the Beat 139. Welcome to the show. Y'all already friends. Like. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. But uh, that's why I want to introduce you. So. But we all going to share them tonight, though. Yeah, right. That's right. So it's a lot, of pe- a lot of things that people uh, might not know about my boy Rock over here. Mm. And, you know, it's, we got a lot of stuff that we want we want to touch on. Mm-hmm. You know, I did some research on, even though it's my boy, I still had to do Uh-oh. some research on. Uh-oh. And and, and, and he has an impressive resume. You know, Morocco is an American film, television, and theater actor, screenwriter, producer, and director. Morocco was born in Chicago, Illinois. He's best known for his role as Tariq in hip-hop television drama series Empire. Mm-hmm. And Chicago Fire on NBC, Prison Break, Homeland on Showtime, Malcolm and Eddie, Early Edition, NCIS on CBS, Mm -hmm. The Beast, and 24 in numerous other roles. Mm -hmm. This guy here has a hell of a resume. Uh, So tell us uh, us, uh, tell us how you got on Empire, bro. Oh man, let's see. I mean, I can give you the short version. Yeah, give me the short version. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it was an audition. My my agent in L.A. sent me an audition, mm-hmm. and it said, uh, "Tariq, FBI grew up with uh, Cookie and Lucius right. in Philly, mm-hmm. became a New York cop, and right. then FBI, and he's uh, gunning for." Terrence Howard, his character yeah. Lucius, mm-hmm. and it said in bold letters, yeah. I'll never forget, star names only. Wow. And I was like, well, this ain't for me. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you a star. Uh, I mean, you a star. My, my mama know me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm you. I'm a star. My mama. I'm, so I'm that shining star. But, um, <laughs> so I said, all right, cool. Well, um, I have nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. I literally put the audition on tape in my apartment. Um, and I, you know, you, I flipped the script, you know, because it was Philly. You know, so I put some Philly isms in there. You're right. We took, and then we lived in New York. So you put some New York, mm-hmm. you know, some New York isms in there. Right, and then right, I threw right. some patois, right. you know, with the character and stuff right, saying, right. brother, I said, brethren, you know, I was just right. playing with, cause I, I was, again, yeah. I had nothing to lose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my agent called me on a Sunday and I'm like, this is weird. Okay. He's like, uh, you the one. Oh. That's all he said. It was very cryptic. And I was right. like, what? Mm. He said, yeah, Empire. Because, you know, I do auditions and I forget about them because, yeah. you know, you become neurotic if you're like, oh, what happened? Uh, yeah. The phone's not ringing. Yeah. So he's like, uh, they're waiting. The, the, uh, the executives approve you. No, the network has to approve you. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to fly to L.A. or anything. Got another call on like Monday or Tuesday and was booked. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. recurring. Amazing. And uh, he wasn't supposed to be Lucius's brother in the mm-hmm. beginning. But after the first scene, I think me we I did a a, a, ro- a, a scene with Tasha Smith, mm-hmm. and then Tasha was like, "Yo, the executive said you and, Luke, you and Terrence look alike." And I was like, "Where, everybody here, look?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Y'all do favor. I'm after about a few glasses of tequila. Y'all do I'm sober. You hot. You got the you got the that's light what skin. They told you about. Okay, that's on. basically uh, I guess. You got the low eyes. Uh, all right. All right. But favorite. anyway, so I was like, all right. She was like, I think they're gonna make him make you his half brother. I was like, how is that gonna work? I'm coming after my half brother. Yeah. But I was like, I didn't put any stock into it because it was all hearsay. Right. right. Sure enough. They wrote it in as the half brother, so I had to go back and do my homework mm-hmm. of why I'm coming after my half brother mm-hmm. like this. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Mm-hmm. And make it believable. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? like why am I coming after this brother? So, mm-hmm. I mean, so in a nutshell, that's how I got the role, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, and you played it very, very well. Good job. You made me hate you. Well, <laughs> I guess I did my job. You did your job exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, right. oh no, somebody yeah. killed this man already. Yeah, I used to get it all He's the time. He's causing too much problems <laughs> on this show right now for yeah, me. My people, leave Lucius alone. Right. Yo, you played that show to the T, man. Yes, he yeah. did. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us. Right so tell us. To the I said, so you man, yeah. you my man right now, but on the show, I'm like, yo, I don't like this dude. Man. Right. Yeah. I know. But we really love good. to hate you because yeah. you were that much. Yeah. You did your job. That means yeah. you said, yeah. doing that backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a mug. What, I had to do that backstory. Yeah. Which was successful. Right. right. So Are you what, surprised? So what it, the show exploded, though? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, because am I Sorry. surprised that Empire exploded? Yeah, I think it was it was a surprise to everybody. Yeah, you know, the yeah, numbers I, that I it did. The networks were expecting yeah. what they were doing to do so well. And right? I go back and forth to Africa, so it's big over there. It's big universally. Wow. You know what I mean? I was in Barbados with my daughter, and some girl got up on our boat because you know my daughter was out there snorkeling. And she had a English accent. She's like, "Oh my God!" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> Empire. I was like, "Oh wow!" It's big wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, crazy, it's, it's worldwide. So it's, yeah, it's, it's not just nationwide. It's yeah. literally worldwide. Yeah. So, what has inspired you to become an actor? And also, what is your biggest accomplishment to date? What in, what inspired me to become an actor? Uh, well, I wanted to play pro football, and I didn't have the discipline, and got kicked off the. Yeah, so we heard about that. Team. You got kicked right. off the and team. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and I was majoring in theater uh, down in Jackson State University as a fluke. I was just like, ah, I'm playing. What made pro you go football. to Jackson State? I just needed to get out of Chicago. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? With everything yeah. going on With everything over there. that was going the crime, on. The crime, all the drugs, yeah, stuff, huh? yeah, the violence, everything I mean, everything we can play on. the violence like right now. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it it's, just, it's just one of those things where you just needed a change in environment. But then I got down to school. And I was doing the same thing. You I brought was, the was, environment there. Well, I didn't bring the you? environment. I wasn't like gang banging and drugs and all that. <laughs> I was partying, drinking, chasing young ladies. Right. I got in a few, doing what young few men scuffles. do. Yeah, okay. you know. Okay. I mean, so, um, so my professor, who took interest in me because she was a, you know, she thought I had potential as an actor, and she said, you know, I want to see you after class. And I said, all right, cool. You know, my cocky 18, 19-year-old self, I'm like, yes, what's up? You know? <laughs> She's like, what are you going to do with your life? You have no, you know, you have potential, but you have no discipline. Right. You know, you, you, you're you going to fight, chase women, drink, and and, and, and throw parties? Uh, what, what? All day. And I'm like, how does she know this? Who's, who's ratting me out? <laughs> right. And I said, well, I'm going to the Marine Corps. Wow. Yeah, but wow. I never thought about going to the Marine Corps until that conversation. And I said, I'm going wow. to the Marine Corps. And she looked at me like, you know, like I was trying to jive her. But I said that conversation was probably end of October, early November. I was in boot camp in February. Wow. Yeah, and ended up in Desert Storm. Marine. So, yeah, wow. Marine Corps. How was it being in Desert Storm? How was that? I mean, it's a war. Wow. You know, Amazing. it's a war. I mean, you Did learn. Did it change you as a person? Yeah, mentally, you grow as a man. You grow as a, you grow as a man. You got stronger. You, you become, yeah, mentally stronger, physically stronger. But, you know, you and you appreciate life. And, you yeah. know, you get another lease on life. So it's like it's wow. one of those things where you grow. And you, you, I use all that discipline and hard work to my craft, you know. Yeah. Now, we could drop you in the jungle there? and you'll survive, right? <laughs> How long was you out there? Uh, I would hope so. <laughs> How long was I in? Uh, I was, I was uh, well, you know, you do an eight-year contract with any, mili- with any yeah. military contract. I went in as a reservist, but I ended up doing two years active duty. Oh, wow. And I was, okay, on, I was on the front lines in, in, in Desert Storm for six months. Wow. So I stayed on the front line. And oh, okay. my company actually liberated Kuwait. So I was in Kuwait when we liberated it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Amazing. Yeah. And so you came back to the States? Yeah, I came back to the States. I enrolled in school, like business. And I was like, this is whack. And I was taking an elective as acting. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And I started modeling. And I got book. I was booking commercials. And then I was watching, I think I was doing a featured extra as a in a video game. And I was watching the actors. And I was like, I can do that, man. That's, yeah, mm-hmm. I can do that. So I was, you know, asked the actor. I was like, how much you get paid? And he told me. And it was 10 times more than I was getting paid. <laughs> like, it was crazy. And I was like, yeah. so I went to my agent and I said, hey. I want to be an actor. And well, she well, laughed and right. she, she said, take some classes. And I took classes and, and did some theater. And here yeah. I am, man. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Biggest accomplishment. I I mean, my daughters, man, watching Yeah, you have two girls. Right. Right. How old are they? Yeah. Happy early Father's Day. Ooh, the youngest is eight. The oldest is 24. Mm-hmm. What? Right. <laughs> the gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. 16-year I know, gap? I know, right? Exactly. Wow. And they keep me running. They stay in my pockets. Just oh, you yeah. thought you were done. I, I have <laughs> right in my pocket. I have an eighteen year old and eleven year old. So well, trust me, I know two girls too. You know. I so already know. Father's Day 
week. Yeah. And happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yeah. Happy, happy early, early Father's, Father's Day. Day. What are you planning Father's. on doing? Man, I'm hanging out. I got. I Just pick her up on Friday, girls. and I, it's whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever she wants, man. That's cool. Like, she beat me, well, almost beat me on the track. So, I bought some new sneakers. <laughs> I'm you still not going to win. You still not going to win. You still not going to win. sneakers make you run fast. The helmet makes you feel good. They make you think you're going to win. I went to this spot. I was like, what's the best sneakers you have? Hey, give me those right there. I will take this. <laughs> I want those. And this little girl is so fast, man. I was like, this is ridiculous. Is she on the track team? What? Uh, no, not yet. But she was like, I beat all the boys in school. I beat them 11 times they don't want to race me no more and right. I understand because she's fast oh wow she's quick, man. so you see so, what she needs to go yeah, yeah I see it so okay. I'm like okay I'm not letting the 8 year old beat me I shameless pride she won't she's she gonna have to take this <laughs> she got a lot of wind though yeah, that's well, what it is well we'll see we'll see we're we gonna see and I'm sorry you lost I that remember race. when I was little, <laughs> I was just running I remember going to the track just exercising with my mother and I just kept running and running and running yeah, she's yeah. like you're gonna give yourself a heart attack yeah. stop but we kids have so much wind so much at that age and so much energy yeah be careful. Yeah, well, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm stretching. We want you it all to make that. it through. Yeah, <laughs> we gonna work we it out. We want you to make it through. <laughs> so I wanted to touch on uh -huh. um, what made you start writing scripts for film. Oh wow! I was living in L.A. and I found myself complaining about you know the stuff that I saw on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I heard myself mm -hmm. because we we as actors or creatives we can complain about complain about it but what are we doing <laughs> right you know right. what i'm saying we're right. waiting for a job or are we creating jobs or right. are we writing content right so i was working on this show called um judging amy, judging amy right? and mm -hmm. rosie o'donnell had most of the dialogue and i had a pen and a pad and i just started writing the script that was in my head mm -hmm. and it took me about two days to write it took me longer to type it up because i'm not a typer mm -hmm. and i let some people read it and they said well what, what are you going to do with this and i said i don't know it's like let's shoot it and i was like okay cool so i called all my people all my friends that were actors russell hornsby who's a talented actor um omari hardwick who's ghost on mm -hmm. power now he had a, a role in there and a lot of other brothers that are doing really well man and uh we shot it in about three days. It ended up at ABFF. It ended up on HBO. So twenty. What was the name of that? The male groupie. It's on YouTube, man. It's a funny the little. Groupie? Yeah, it's a little snapshot. The male groupie. The male Why groupie. have I heard of that? We got to check. What, what year did you shoot that? Is it on we Netflix? Shot that in '04. No, no, no. You did? Yeah, I think yeah. I saw it on there. I'm gonna yeah, look I'm it up. I'm not getting paid if it is. I, I gotta know. check. I'm gonna let you know. Do you know a funny story? You know. What's that? I was supposed to audition for a film that you wrote. Yeah, and I came and met you. Right, I, I lacked discipline back then. That was probably the male groupie. I think so. And Keena Ferguson yeah. got the part that yeah. I was supposed to because I was dating what my ex husband at the time, Nico. Nico, Parham. yeah, yeah, I know. We, had, yeah. we went to San Diego and I missed the audition. Right, right. And I saw you at a party. You were like, eh. I was and like, I think that was that the was male groupie. That was that the was, male groupie. I missed my chance. Yeah, I missed yeah, my right. chance. And how was it working with Rosie O'Donnell? Cool man, she was very. She's, awesome. no, she's, cool she's people, awesome to man. me. Yeah, like, from what I see. No, she she's cool awesome. people, man. Very professional. Very, of course, funny. But Hilarious. yeah, she's she, she's great, man. She's Dumb. great. And you know, it's it's when you work with actors who are giving, that have this stature. Because she was very giving to me, and and and, and gave me a lot of uh, gems. And I was oh. like, oh, I appreciate that because yeah. you work. Sometimes you work with actors, and you just like. Oh wow! Yeah. You know, I hope I don't rub people that kind of way. Right, you know what right. I mean? Because we work long hours, but still, we have to. You have to be professional. Of course. You know, we're all out there trying to make this work. Of and I, you know, but um. So yeah, man. There's so, nothing worse than idolize. Well, not idolizing, but admiring someone and then meeting them on the set. Yeah. And they totally let you down, and you yeah. say, "I wish I never met him. Yeah. I wish I would have left the fit, you know, <laughs> yeah. to my imagination." Yeah, no so, doubt. So you no sent me a, a music video that you directed, right? What's what's going on with that? We just released it yesterday, man. Yeah. So I, I moved nice. into the video uh, director. Uh, I've directed two videos of uh, one brother in Uganda. We're releasing that soon. And this woman from you, here. You did say you've been going to Africa a lot. Yeah, I've yeah. been to about 15 countries now. Where's your, what's your, what's your favorite? Oh, man. See, I'm, I will not say that because they, <laughs> they like, they're all watching. Oh, so so which, which countries have you gone to there? Um, uh, Egypt, Ethiopia, Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya. Um, uh, let's see uh, what it, what else uh, Ghana Morocco Ooh. of course South Africa Mozambique Zimbabwe Zambia uh, Namibia 
I think that's it. We got wow. some catching up. Let me, let me, I went to Uganda two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. I just got to Africa, but I'm following Kampala. you, brother. Let, let you I question. went to Kampala. I stayed in Kampala and Ginger. I love wow. Kampala. Yes. I love them both, Ginger. Yes, so you yes. went to the source of the Nile, right? I, I, I went to the Nile River. My friends had a boat, right. and we watched the sunset on, yes. on the Nile River. I love anyway. So, um... Love I want you, you to share your experience with people because a lot of people, when they think of Africa, they think of lions, they think of, you know. <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. Like all the negative. The worst. So can you um, give a clear picture of uh, Africa to the. Uh, you listeners? will never feel that kind of humanity and warmth anywhere else on earth. Um, you know, our absolutely. people. Because. Uh, I forgot Botswana, but I was in Botswana and my guide was like, he turned to me with tears in his eyes. He said, why do you not, why do, why don't you guys come here? Yeah. And I was like, well, you want me to be honest? He said, yeah. I said, because America has created this whole fear mm-hmm. when they show Africa, we see, yep. you know, they don't want us to go there. genocide. We yeah. see Boko Haram. We yeah. see AIDS. We see yeah. HIV. We see Starving uh, children with yeah. swollen we bellies and violence. We see all the, all the, all negativity, the negative, all the negativity yeah. that we see. Yeah. That would keep and us away. Yeah. And it is the most beautiful place that you ever want to go. Yeah. The food is fresh. The people are warm. The people are beautiful. I mean, the women are lovely. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Absolutely. I mean, I'm looking for a house now. Wow. So I, I said that I was going to buy property wow. in Ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it was beautiful. All you people listening, because, you know, this is the motherland, and I think it's important yeah. that, you know, we, we know we come from it and, and stop mm-hmm. always going for other places. <laughs> and like he said, he's been around the world, and it's a beautiful place. So, yeah. you know, I hope y'all take heed to that, do y'all research. Absolutely. And, well, kids. and yeah. it's amazing because we will go and and see where you know the people who kidnapped us. Yes. We will go and celebrate their culture. We will right. go to Greece England and Mexico and, to Europe, and, and, and France, Paris, yep. and Italy. Yep. We, we do not even aspire yep. where they are from, but yeah. we won't go to home where we're from and pride ourselves yeah. in calling yeah. ourselves African Americans, but yeah. not trying to dis- Africa rediscover Africa. Modern as United States. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. In certain areas. Oh, definitely. And, definitely. And, and, but they want to show you all the, yeah. the sad part of, of Africa. Yeah. You turn you from going you. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? the, the rules, the poor. Okay. The poor Morocco. Area. So, uh, what's your acting style? Do you consider yourself like a leading man or a character <laughs> actor? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you prefer? I, you know, um, I forgot who said this, but the best description, and I and I tell my my students, is you want to be an artist and you want to take the shape of water. Mm-hmm. So whatever you pour water in, it becomes that shape. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, you know, say well, you know, on Empire, I was considered one of the lead actors, you know, but I can do that character stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just about, you know, your craft having range, and. You know, not every actor can play everything, but it's like, okay, can I hit that note? Sure. Can I play this? Yeah. Can I do this? There are characters I'm like, okay, that that challenge me. And a lot of times the characters that challenge me, I'm like, uh, those are the characters that I need to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't like to read. When I read, I was like, uh, okay, yeah. well, I'm going to make them grimy. I'm going to make them very gritty. And, and make I'm you gonna, do your homework. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm going to come in and just be the silent assassin. You know, he has a, Tariq had a, a, a secret that you didn't know right. what was in his eyes right. and where he was going to come. So right. it's like, and I, I made sure to make him, you know, he can play either side of the law. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to do what I got to do to get you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And, but I'm going to get you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it was one of those things where... When I craft a character, you know, I'll come in as a character actor, but it might be, you know, considered a lead. So, you know, it, it's just what it, what, it, what it is, wherever, what instrument they need me to play, I'm there. If it's, you know, if I feel close to the character in the script, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's the next role coming up? Anything coming up? You know, brother, I'm gonna be real honest with you. Uh, I just did an episode of Blue Bloods, but nice. yeah, I mean, I, I, I yeah, I, I got scripts that you know I'm attached to, 
but I'm more excited about directing and producing oh, and writing okay. Okay. because you have more control of the canvas. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, as an actor, you have that one character, but as, you know, as a creative, you're like, okay, I wrote this and I wrote this with people in mind and this is the stories that I want to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These right. are the stories I want to tell right. and this is how I want to see my people, you know? Because we can all play thugs and this yeah, and that, yeah, and that. Yeah. but I want to see us as warriors, as kings and queens and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I love comedies. I love, you know, but, you know, there are more stories to tell. Yeah. You know, there are more Black Panthers out yeah, there. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah. So, you know, Absolutely. we need more. We need to we need to speak more on it, you know? So how many films have you produced in, in row? Oh, a handful. Handful? Yeah. 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 But before I came over here, I just, you know, connected with some Nigerian cats who mm -hmm. were supposed to be in Nigeria in July yeah. to, uh, you know, they want to produce TV and film there. So, yeah, yeah. you know, they want to bring me on board and come out there and do some acting workshops yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. And who's that young lady in the, in the music video? Oh, her name is Taylor Iman, yeah. man. Out of Gary, lives in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Beast as an artist. I think she has a concert here at the end of June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's a beast. Man. Yeah, that was a nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. On YouTube, that was a nice song. Yeah. yeah. Would you prefer a theater or I mean, film? Do I prefer theater or film? <laughs> um, the money in film and TV. Amen. Theater is that immediate gratification. Absolutely. You know, there's more um, interaction with the crowd. More. Well, it's just crazy. you know, you have more meat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of times with TV, you come yeah. in for that one scene, a couple down, scenes. Yeah. Same with film, you know. Action but, cut back the wall, yeah, but yeah. it's raw. But theater, you're on that stage two hours, three hours sometimes. And some, when you're in that zone, you remember five minutes to places. And then the next thing you're doing, you're taking a bow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're in that zone. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. So let me ask you um, a question. Uh, the Beat 139, right? Mm-hmm. We about to do a little short film. Okay. Can you give us um, some type of advice or, you know, anything that we, we probably need to do? Well, I mean, hire a good director. Hire good actors. Make sure that script is tight. Um, you know, don't take any shortcuts, man. People think there's a shortcut, you know, to mm -hmm. success. Yeah. I think if you... Um, yeah. You know, you got people good, a good team involved good in, a, team. In, a, in a, you know, a good script and don't just try to like, oh, let's just throw this at the wall and, and put it out there. You know, it could be good. I mean, have right. something to say, you mm -hmm. know, um, you, when you break down a script, it's about a minute a page. So if it's a 20 page script, it's a 20 minute film, you know what I mean? Then you got to put the titles on it, mm -hmm. you okay. know, and I mean, you don't want to exceed 20 minutes really for these film festivals, you know what I mean? You know, beginning, middle, and end right. with any script. There's a setup, there's a conflict, and then there's the resolution. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, um, make sure it's tight, man. You know, you know. I mean, that's that's the best advice. And 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 do something different that people haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, that's you know what, what I mean. Would, you know, exactly. there's, there's like yeah. thirty exactly. hospital shows and thirty cop shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know, give me give me another give me another twi or twist on it. You know what exactly. I mean? Right. Yeah. So definitely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who inspires you, and who are your favorite actors mm. or actresses? Muhammad Ali was my hero. Okay. Mm. You know. He was the people's champ. Right. So watching his, you know, philanthropy and the way he spoke to the people, it was, as a kid, I was like, wow, that's an amazing man. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I watched, I was a boxing fan because of Muhammad Ali, but then I was a fan of his manhood. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I could do that, mm -hmm. you know, I boxed a little bit, but if mm -hmm. I could be that man, the way he gives, and you can tell a lot, like how kids, re when kids respond to you, in a, in a, exactly. you're just like, that's yeah. a good dude. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good energy because kids yeah. notice energy. Exactly. Yes, yeah, they you know, do. Kids, they'll, uh, <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? Right. Seriously. A lot of people ignore that, when but when kids yeah, gravitate to that. to you like that, you just like that's a good dude. Yeah. That's a good spirit. Yeah. Um so I would say, you know, Ali, um then you know, Malcolm X and you know, I mean the list goes on of just strong brothers, man, who 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 stood for something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um my favorite actors off top will be like Don Cheadle. 
Excellent. You know, yes. um, Meryl Streep, of course. Um, you know, Denzel, man, when you when you look at his body of work, you know, Certainly. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean when, when yeah. Denzel comes with it, Denzel. Yeah, yeah he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Hurricane. Undeniable. Yeah. Malcolm X. Yeah. Yeah. Malcolm X. Yeah. Flight. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you Amazing. know, he comes with John it. Money. What's that one? You say, my nigga. What, what, what's uh, that one? American, be- American yeah. gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Training, day. Training, training day. day. Training, training day. day. Training, training day. day. Training day. Everybody's saying that, right? My nigga. And what was it? Glory when he dropped that one tip. Yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's a, he's a beast. Yeah, he's, a monster, yeah, he he's a beast. I mean, but you know, yeah. of course, Jeffrey Wright. I love uh, Chiwetelli Jofa, Idris Elba. I mean, the list goes on. That the cast that I'm, I look at and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, all right. Yeah, that that, that was it right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Undeniable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That makes me feel something. I'm like, oh, right. okay. But you know, you got Daniel Day Lewis and Anthony Hopkins, who, whose eyes are amazing. You you, you have those eyes. kind of eyes. Yeah, thank you. But yeah. I mean, so I watch the great ones. You watch the great yeah. ones, and we still De Niro, Pacino. We still yeah. Marlon Brando. We still, yeah. you know, right, and right. we make Pacino's it our own. Right. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Alice definitely. Is. So, is it true mm. that you give all your awards to your mom? I do. And why is that? I. You know, I don't. Uh, you know, <laughs> so mom has all the mantle. mom has, she has the mantle of everything. All the yeah, mm-hmm. I just give it to her because I don't I don't need it in my house because I don't you know you want to stay hungry mm-hmm. you know I don't want to sit back stay and like oh look at my stuff mm-hmm. you know what I mean I give that I just gave uh, my my medals to my my eight year old she has my medals from from the Marine Corps mm-hmm. and I just like because. I like artwork. I go in some actor's house and they have pictures of themselves and the the awards and all that. And it's kind of like, you know, what is it? You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's a little narcissistic. Uh, I just just like a piece of art. It's like you're literally worshiping yourself. Usually every country in Africa, I'll buy buy a painting from a local artist and I'll frame that and I put that like, oh, I remember when I was in Botswana or South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't need to look at myself. I know what I look like. You know what I mean? I don't don't need, you know what I'm saying? I see them them when I go to my mom's house because, you know. That's a beautiful. You know, this is, mom, this is, this is it. You know, the. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't win these awards. You know what I'm saying? This, this, these are hers. I don't, I don't need to see that in my You're house. You're keeping yourself humble. Man, keep it real. <laughs> keep it easy. Yeah. That's you know? right. It's a good thing. You get good easy. blessings like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's a good blessings, and, and like we definitely yeah. appreciate yeah. you because like yeah. your status and, and we up and coming podcast mm-hmm. and you to come on the show and, and you know be on time. Mm-hmm. Like you know that's important to us because see and these people have to realize. Oh, we helping each other. Yes. That's what's about. It's a black man here. Right. He helping us grow as a as a company. And so, you know, that's what it's about. Empowering each other. And you know, that that's a good thing. I definitely appreciate you. I know she do, she do, he do. We all do. We do. Yeah, Thank you for coming to the one beat. So I have one more question. Uh, 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 I was about to say I had a question. Uh, uh, are you uh, single, uh, Morocco? Yes. Omari. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'm single. Oh, you heard that, ladies? I'm He's single. single. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you, what do you do when you're not acting? I'm not sure if we're short for time. You can answer that and also run down to the people where they can find your newly directed video, um, uh, projects that we can look out for sure. you, your personal website, all for those sure. things, your social media. Yeah. What I what do I do when I'm not acting? Um, I'm with this daughter of mine, man, this eight-year-old, man. She keeps Running me busy. You, got, you started over, so, so here you yeah, go. Yeah, keeps me busy. <laughs> I mean, with that, I mean, I'm writing. I'm, um, I'm, I love traveling. I just got back from Asia. Uh, it was my first time in East Asia. I'd been like, like I said, Southeast Asia with our, Iraq and Kuwait. Yeah. But I was. Uh, in birthday. May seventh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy so, birthday. Yeah. That's my cousin birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so my I was. Sister's little sister's yeah, birthday. so I was there for about three and a half weeks, just yeah, hitting the countries in Asia. Um, music, live music, man. That's why I met this brother. I was like, you know, I'm always out. I love art. Mm-hmm. So live music, man, it speaks to me. It's like my, you know, it's my thing. Man. Yeah. You know? So yeah. That was a, that was a good night. You know? That's a good Sometimes I'm just chilling, man. Yeah. I'm chilling in Korea, man. I'm good, you know. Where'd you go, Korea? Huh? You said you. Oh, well, I, I said I'm chilling in the crib. Like, oh, in the crib. Yeah. I said okay, Korea. I was like, you didn't mention uh, I'm that. I'm in the Korea. <laughs> <laughs> So tell the people where they can find you. Yeah, 
Yeah, where they can find me? Oh, Instagram. see, I don't even like I'm um, Morocco. Yeah. yeah, I am fine. I see. <laughs> you heard me ask yeah, about yeah, a baby. Yeah, I was like, Morocco. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, you get some crazies, man. I had a little situation last year. I got to vet people, but uh, yeah. yeah, man. So Morocco dot Omari dot official on Instagram. Um, there's a Morocco Omari fan page, uh, Rocco Omari on Facebook. Okay. Uh, I think that's full, but you know, and I'm very, very seldom tweet stuff. I tweeted okay. out the video "Big yeah. City" by Taylor Yaman. That's yeah. on uh, YouTube, though. Yeah. It's called "Big City." It's a, it's a banging cut, man. I'm yeah. honored to direct it. When I first heard it, I was like, "Yeah, yeah. nice." Hey, who, is, who, is, who is directing that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can I, I would, get a I shot? Like to, yeah. I, would, I would like to, you know. So and I, you got your chance. Chance, man. Yeah. I, I, it's a good look, man. She's got a nice voice too. Yeah, yeah. We, maybe maybe one day she could come up here and you know we play her music in the June, man. Her. Yeah, I'll let her know. Come yeah, tell her, Iman, we would love to yeah, have yeah, you. Yeah, Big yeah, city, we'll play the cut. Yeah, play the yeah, cut, yeah, man. Okay. And, uh, yeah, got people can download music. the joint. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you, um, Morocco. And we want to say we wish you the best of luck thank in you. all your endeavors in the future. Indeed. Safe travels because we know yeah. you're gonna hit another you man, know listen, couple of countries in the world. We're excited for you. I got it. an honor to interview you traveling in august I, i'm gonna i'm gonna feed off your brain cells to see where i should go with my with my little one for her 19th birthday oh nice figure nice, it out nice, nice yeah all right well thank you bro thank you, uh, thank you bro. Yeah. the beat 139 thank you for all of you that are tuned in tonight thank next, you next week's guest we have will tracks brucey e. b and Boogie Black. Um, you can see Facebooks for more details about them. And follow our Instagram as well, the Beat 139, y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate our audience as well. Yes. Everybody have a good night. Bye. Have a good night, good everybody. Night. Bye. 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 Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Boogie Black. I'm going to be like Rock Boogie. Rock you know what I'm saying?